So today we're going to look at what happened when I planted some uh, fragments of sweet potatoes and we're going to find out what happened now that it's uh, October 20. And down here in the ground, they find there's a sweet potato. Just begging to come out of the ground. Okay, it's a little one, but it, there it is. From being planted in the garden in the spring to now set on the plate. A yam or sweet potato, we might call it, and the process is complete, just ready to be eaten. This present coronavirus crisis uh, emphasizes the need for personal investment of Bible study. Uh, a personal investment is something you do when you farm, uh, such as grow the sweet potatoes. You put something in, so that later there'll be a great harvest. I'm telling you that it's vital for you to put time in, in God's Word. Consider it like a treasure hunt, like you're digging or panning for gold and looking for all the beautiful things that God has, the promises and the, the commandments and the laws and the regulations, His grace. It's all here and you need to take time to personally invest in God's Word so that you have that. In the Middle Ages, the common people did not have God's Word. They depended upon the priests, upon the monks to preserve God's Word. And they didn't have it personally. They had pictures, they had stories, and it looks a lot like video in our day. And so part of my job in making this video is to kind of work myself out of a job. I want you to take the personal time to invest in God's Word, to discover for yourself the golden nuggets of Scripture of God's Word for you and the promises about faith in Jesus Christ. And when you put the time in, then of course Jesus says the Holy Spirit will bring the words of Christ to your mind when you need it. So consider this morning Psalm 139. And we'll start in verse 9. How can a young man keep his way pure by living according to your word? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. And maybe you are listening that there's a reference to scripture and it's different to synonyms, word and laws and commands and statutes. Psalm 139 is the longest chapter in the Bible, but yet and it contains all these references to Scripture. Almost every verse contains a reference to Scripture and the joys and blessings of having that. And also it says here, how can a young man keep his way pure? You might think, well, I'm in college. How can I have time to do this? Well, I'll testify. In college, I had time. I made time to read through the Bible and discover and it was like a treasure hunt for me and I just picked out a topic and looked for all the references of scripture on that and wrote it down journaled and I have that now in my heart and then I went back later uh, before I became a minister when I wasn't even studying to be a minister you can do this and you need to do it because uh, we love the Lord and we want to find out all these treasures Put in the time, make the investment. It will reap a great harvest and you'll be ready for whatever comes in this present crisis and on into the future too.